It was practically still night time as we made our way to Gatwick Airport for our 7am flight. Public transport was a bit tricky that time of the morning, so thanks mum and dad for saving the day. It was lovely and festive when we arrived at the South Terminal and made our way towards security. We boarded our plane and it wasn't long before we were up in the air. As we cleared the clouds, we could see the sunrise, which was so beautiful. We landed in a very wet Mallorca and were so tired we opted for a taxi to our hotel rather than the two buses we needed. As we drove, we saw a beautiful rainbow. seems to be quite rugged but also kind of industrial too with lots of retail parks scattered about. We were heading to Magaluf which is normally party land but when we arrived everything was closed. We checked into our hotel which had a lovely view of the ocean and some ruins. After a bit of a power nap, we met up with Pete and Dan and headed to Palma Nova, a nearby town that still had some places open. So it's all closed at the moment, isn't it, Zingbar? It is. It's all closed in this area. But Pete and Dan have found somewhere that we can go and have a drink. We found a few cool places that did cocktails and were looking forward to a fun Saturday night. The weather turned and it began to pour with rain. So glad we're inside. Sunday morning came and Tig and me got up early to grab breakfast as it was included in our stay. There was a lot of food to choose from with a big variety of pastries, bread rolls, fresh fruit and roasted vegetables, as well as a nice selection of hot food, including hash browns, onion rings, churros, pancakes and eggs made to order, as well as bacon, sausage and beans, all the ingredients for a fry up. They even had a big block of honeycomb to get your honey from, how cool is that? So we filled our plates and grabbed a nice seat by the pool and took advantage of the sunshine. Here's Tig's bizarre breakfast. <laughs> uh, you know, mix of sweet and savoury and pate. Very bizarre, I know. <laughs> I'm going a bit more tradish, but I've got two rashers, some hash browns, this sweetish potato thing, and some egg and beans and a little tomato with cheese. After a really good feed for us and the birds, we made our way back to Palma Nova but not before heading up to the roof and taking in the ocean views. The weather seemed really nice and sunny, the perfect day for the beach. Nothing open at all. Nothing's really open. <laughs> we tried our best to keep our spirits up, even though everything was closed. At least the beach is lovely and the sun is shining. That's my special crew. Let's careful. Okay. Ooh. After nearly getting my shoes soaked, I decided it was a sign that the ocean wanted me and I went in for a paddle. It was so nice being able to chill out on the beach and enjoy the sunshine. Even in November, it was relatively warm. As 
As the sun began to set, we made our way back to the hotel. I loved the colours of the evening as the sun went down. It was pretty magical. Beautiful purples, pinks and blues. pretty as the sun's going down we're going to move to a different area tomorrow but it's absolutely gorgeous We decided to do a last minute drone flight before grabbing some food at an Italian restaurant that was on site. It was really tasty and a nice last meal together. Definitely wouldn't recommend going to Mallorca so late in the year, especially not Magaluf, but we made the most of it and are off to explore more of the island. So until next time guys, take care and we'll see you on the flip side.